and they said, hey, um, this is going to sound very weird, but do you perform Shakespeare in Brisbane in Australia? <laughs> Nicole, you've got a story about mm. the Royal Shakespeare Theatre. Tell us about that. <laughs> I, I do. Yeah, yeah. This is this is just wacky. After I'd been to London and the Globe, that sort of thing, maybe about a week, a week and a half later, um, we were uh, we were travelling up north. Uh, we decided to do a kind of a, a bit of a driving tour of, of, of Western and Northern um, England, and um, we absolutely made sure that we were going to visit Stratford upon Avon, yes. and. Um, you know that's definitely the pilgrimage part of the um, part of the, the the holiday for me. Um, yeah, I mean, I got to visit um, yeah, Shakespeare's gravesite in in the, in the church on, on the banks of the Avon, and um, that was really moving experience. I um, mean, you know, I got to be in his old house, his dad's house. Um, you know, uh, there's kind of roving performers around the place as well. Uh, it was, uh, it's it's really something. But um, the, but the one thing that um, really kind of capped off the experience for me being in that town was. Um, seeing Hamlet, so, you know, only Shakespeare's most famous play, uh, you know, uh, in Shakespeare's hometown, you know, <laughs> it's just one of those things that you do, obviously. But I, um, you know, it's, it, and it's and structurally it's it's almost the same as, as the Globe in, in London. Um, mm -hmm. When I went in there, I mean, it's, it's enclosed. That's, that's, that's one part of the, uh, you know, so it's got a roof. Um, and um, the the way that they they'd structured at least his performance of Hamlet was that it had a bit of a thrust, very thin thrust out of the um, the performance area. But um, apart from that, it was pretty much the same as the awesome. Globe. The funny thing that happened to me was in the foyer of the show just before we'd gone on. Um, uh, a partner had gone off to the bathroom, so I was standing there by myself reading the program, and I had a couple of people come up to me. First thing I noticed when they opened their mouths with they, was that they had Australian accents, and I and they said, "Hey, um, this is going to sound very weird, but do you perform Shakespeare in Brisbane in Australia?" And I said, "Yes, I absolutely do. Have done a few times in um, you know, Rome Street Parklands." And they said, "Yep, yep, yeah, we've we've seen you. We've seen Amazing. you there. They were Brisbaneites." Um, and they'd seen, I think they did much to do about nothing and merchant and a few other, uh, performances, but that was That's one of the most bizarre experiences crazy. of my life to be studying Shakespeare for so long, to be in his hometown, <laughs> seeing his most famous play. And then to have somebody from halfway around the world also recognize me from performing said plays so in good. my hometown. Like what on earth? And, and I, you know, I told them that I was performing in Midsummer Night's Dream when I got back to um, Brisbane, um, and I did, and I was playing uh, bottom at the time, and uh, they came along, and Brilliant. I recognised them. You know, said hi, remembered their names. I don't remember them now, obviously, because it's been <laughs> eight years. But um, yeah, that was that was a wow, just a, 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 a just supreme example of synchronicity. Like that's how incredible. Does this happen? That's <laughs> how does awesome. Shakespeare bring people together like this? Like wow. Incredible. That's so crazy. Great story. <laughs> Very much.